to be equal. Number two, education is important because as Kenya, our most important asset is our human capital. World over, you ask any international company, local and foreign, they will tell you that the Kenyan human capital is comparable to none. And number three is that education, because of its importance, we spend close to 29% of our budget on education. So it is the most important subject. Um, all of you remember during the last election, there was a very big debate on two subjects. Number one, about CBC and where it was going. I remember in many instances, citizens who are wondering what is going to happen to our children after grade six. What's going to happen next? What's the future of CBC? The other very important subject was the status of our universities. At that time, 23 out of our 40 public universities were technically bankrupt or insolvent because the government of Kenya had debts owed to universities, 135 or 38 billion shillings to public universities and about 51 billion shillings to private universities. And many of our universities could hardly pay salaries. In fact, some of them paid half their salaries. I even had a conversation with one of the vice chancellors and he told me that they have never paid full salary for the last 13 years to lecture us. We had many suppliers who were not paid. In fact, for those who are doing engineering courses, courses in medicine that requires supplies for practicals and many other requirements, many of them could not afford. And what happened? It was beginning to affect the quality of our education. And you all know, because you are scholars, that there is a common saying that to destroy a nation, you don't have to use an atomic bomb or to use long-range missiles. All you need to do is to lower the quality of education and if there is exam cheating, you will have destroyed a nation. 